through how you can report impact that the SBDC has helped you create in your business online by updating your profile. First, you're going to want to go to the SBDC AZ State website. If you Google AZ SBDC, it'll be the first link that comes up. You're going to want to go into the section of the website that is listed for existing customers. You'll want to scroll down on the home page. It's a big red box there at the bottom. That'll take you to the page like the one that's behind me that says, please sign in. Now, if you have worked with a counselor previously, it is possible that they set you up a profile and you don't know your password, which is completely fine. The way that you will go ahead and log in is by typing in the email that your counselor uses for you and hit continue. It will send you a ticket number to that email address so you can access your profile. So let's go ahead. We have created a, a test page so you can see what this process looks like. When you log in, once you get your ticket number, it's going to take you to a profile about your business. You're going to want to walk through those steps to update your business information, telling us how we have been able to help your business. A couple of key components that we are looking for as you update your profile on this website. One, have you created any jobs? Uh, this looks like full-time employees or part-time employees. We have the ability to be able to report on both. Second, have you achieved any loans or increased the capital of your business? This can include any investment that you as an owner has also made into your business. If you are a new business startup, so you have worked with the SBDC to launch your business and you have done one of three things, whether that is invest capital in your organization, had someone hire you for a job, or have filed your official LLC paperwork, congratulations, you are a business and can mark the date that you have started your business so we can report that impact as well. Those are the three main areas that we have questions on uh, when you're going into your profile. Of course, any additional feedback on how we have helped you or your business is always beneficial and we appreciate your time and taking your effort to going in here and updating this information. If you have any questions on what these terms mean or how to complete your file, please contact Yvette Estada or Kristen Slice at the Maricopa SBDC or your individual counselor to walk you through. Reporting this data is critical to help us continue serving the small business community in Phoenix. Thank you for taking your time in supporting your SBDC and your local small businesses.